You know, I just forgot what I was gonna say. I had something witty to say, but it's gone. What are you doing down there, Chip Girl? Do you remember what I was gonna say? Why would I go with you? I didn't think so. I thought I'd ask. They put it where I can reach it. <laughs> uh, I was gonna ask you what was wrong because I heard obscenities. I was about to flip my stuff because they have the blueberry pomegranate where my cherry goes, but the cherry was down here. That cranberry mango looks really good too. I like how you edited yourself. You're gonna lose your stuff? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna flip my stuff. You're gonna flip your stuff? That way you didn't have to beat me out later. Thanks. Alright, let's do this. Harley did five. You gotta step up your game. And he did have a video to prove it too. He did. So. Maybe you should hold that bottom box a little bit higher. Extend your reach. We should check his video and see if he held those bottom two together. Those boxes are really wobbly already. Nope. Never gonna break that four. Never. Nope. Interesting. All right, some sad news, guys. I think my jacket that I wear for work is just done. My zipper doesn't zip anymore, it's tired. My sleeves don't hold my scrawny arms anymore because they're tired. I think it's probably past the point of Crystal repairing it. And I feel like I don't have a, a home address when I wear this thing. The pocket's all torn, like I don't have a dollar to my name. I think it's gotta go, guys. What do you think? What's that? Keep it? You guys should wear it more. Okay, I'll, I'm just gonna keep wearing it then. Sorry, everybody voted Crystal. I'm keeping the jacket. Okay, but you kind of look homeless. But I live here. If I had enough footage of me wearing it, I would make this montage of me in it, but it's just gotta go. <sighs> Mr. Rogers did it so much more gracefully. And now I've just discarded it on the ground. So we need a painting update. What you got going today? I'm almost done with this one. I just have to do more white over all the swirly doodles. Oh, that looks really, really good. Thanks. What's next after that? I know you're painting more than just two. Um, I don't know. I have a bunch of images saved. I went and found images that I like, and I'm kind of copying those. And I have a bunch more saved, but I haven't decided on anything. So. Can you give us a preview of what the next two pictures are going to be right after this? I don't know. I haven't decided. Maybe later, when I decide. But I have like 10 or 15 pictures saved that I'm choosing from. Can we choose one for you? Or it doesn't work that way? No, it doesn't work that way. Okay, fair enough. You know me, I'm a control freak. I don't like other people making my choices. That's why the castle doesn't have a name. <laughs> that's my decision to <laughs> that's make. That's true, that's very true. Look, you guys can actually see yourselves. No, wait. How would I make it so you could see your yourself because it's not reflecting okay maybe you can just almost see the same things I see that's what it is there now you can see these guys that's what you look like in my hand wait I could just hold it like this because the camera is already in the mirror <laughs> <laughs> you shush <laughs> there <laughs> this is one of my favorite things that Blake ever got for me the picture of him in that little body thing it was always cool because when he'd go to his mom's house I'd miss him a bunch and I'd be like oh there's my little Blake and now he's not so little anymore you don't miss him because you talked about that in the past tense too oh no I still miss Blake I do he's my buddy it's he's fun what's going on in sock world today it's cold so knee socks again stripey knee socks argyle knee socks they're not stripey oh. Is there a story? I guess technically they're stripes. Is there a backstory to this particular pair of socks? No, I think I got them at the Target. That's it? That's all I got. <laughs> I guess some, some don't always have to have a story. No, I just had a knee sock addiction for a few years and bought like 52 pairs. And this is one of them. And you're wearing star pajamas still. I am. They're covered in cat hair because they're fleecy and they're just Velcro, basically. The cat, cat hair just hair. makes them look like shooting stars. Yeah, there you go. So, what happened here? Nothing. I'm enjoying my lemon pie. How do you suppose you're going to get up? I'm going to eat it. 
off of your own lap. Have we not learned that when you eat these lemon pies, you have to eat them over a bowl? Well, my bottom of my thing has a hole in it. That's the problem. Which would have been remedied if you had had a bowl. That's true. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. Help? What do you propose I do? I'm wondering how you're going to get all this stuff off the couch. You know I just wash, wash these blankets, right? You're not right? making it better by putting stuff on I'm me. getting them off the couch. Cat. Cats aren't going to eat that. Any of the cat, just cats. They're just going to jump across you and make you, like, hey, you. make some sort of sudden movement. I think you might have to just take your pants off. Like, like if you puke on yourself and you just have to kind of, like, wrap your clothes up. No, I got this. I got this. <laughs> How are you going to walk? Don't fall over. I'm good. <laughs> Where are you going? Are you gonna make it to the trash can and dump it in the trash can? Cause I'd like to see that too. I can't make it to the trash can. I have to go for the sink. How are you gonna get to the sink? The sink's taller than the trash can. I'm halfway to either of the places. You're not gonna make it to the sink. The sink's like a foot higher than your lap. No, no, you're gonna break something. <laughs> That's commitment. That hurts so bad. You think? <laughs> <laughs> I think I did it though. Can we see how much of it actually got off of your lap? <laughs> none of it? Well, I'm gonna go with none. Are you knocking it onto the floor now? No, I caught it all. All of it? Uh, all of it. Because you know I just swept these floors. All of it. That's how you clean up a mess. <laughs> how about the sink? All right, another day, another vlog. Hopefully it's supposed to be raining tomorrow, so if it rains a lot, we'll take the GoPro out in the rain. That should be fun. After this vlog's over, I will be answering some of your guys' questions, so if you want to stick around for that, yahoo! Otherwise, I'm Dan, that's Crystal, she's somewhere. We make daily vlogs, and if you like our daily vlogs, please subscribe. Have a good night. It's time to answer some questions. Ina714 Ina says, Love the 8-Bit track. Lego is the artist. Actually, it's the Heathley Brothers. If you YouTube them, type in Heathley Brothers, you'll see them pop up there. All their music's really cool, and it's what I use in my videos. Ronan Dimitri says, Say, says? What did I say I was supposed to be? Say. Say? Yeah. Okay. it's two of them. Okay. Ronan Dimitri say, <laughs> I'm never going to get yeah. it. Say? Mm -hmm. It just sounds so weird. Ronan and Dimitri say, WonderCon looks great, but the best part is your commentary, especially best cosplay ever and the lunch tray guy. You guys should have heard what I said when the cameras were off. Patty Bueno says, Last time I played anything Star Wars was on the 64. I need to find mine. I want to play now. That game was Shadow of the Empire, and it was so cool. The year I got my Nintendo 64, I played that game for a long time. Yo's Creative says, Hi, that looks like a fun event you've been to, pertaining to WonderCon. You look like you've been vlogging for years, so confident in public, and don't mind people staring at you, staring at you and wondering what you are up to. Uh, sometimes I get a little nervous around people, and I actually have been making vlogs for lots and lots of years. I really like your artsy intro, thanks. May I ask where did you find the exact font you used to plot the Dan? I actually just drew a D and an A and an N and I just cut it out of construction paper and put it on there to do the stop motion stuff so there is no font. It was just my hand and scissors. Ronald Bonte says, we need a Lego store here in the Netherlands. Would love to visit it and cosplaying as a lunch tray sounds awesome. All that food. Those lunch dudes were everywhere in the way and some of those lunch trays had food on them and those food sandwiches look pretty dang good. Mama Lolly says, those were cute socks. There's nothing like fun gifts from someone when they go out of town. Looks like you had a fun time. I did. Sucks about day two, but at least you found a cool game to play, even if the venue was quite creepy. The venue was creepy and it smelled like the 70s. And my sister said that her and her husband used to go on dates there in high school. So that place has been around for a long time, but it was really neat inside. I just wish there was more people so I could capture more of the things that were going on. When I went out into the back, there was nobody out there at all doing miniature golf or riding the go-karts. Dead Lindy and Tish Tini both talk about Mr. Goodbody. That was the name of the guy in the picture that I posted of that reminded me of the guys from Attack on Titans. I never remembered his name and I was really young when he was on TV, 
but it sure stuck in my mind of this like freaky dude in that one piece and it was just so crazy. Crystal, do you remember that guy? Not even a little. Uh, you're lucky, you're probably a year or two just out of the range of that guy. He had a big old 70s fro and I don't even remember what he was talking about, but he just looked like Inside Out Boy. Zack Attack says, were you shooting in the Star Wars simulator? I think it would have been much better if you were driving too, eh? Actually... Is that your Canadian accent? Yeah. That was horrible. Do you have a better Canadian accent? I do not, but that was definitely not it. I'm right. sorry, Zach. I apologize for Dan. I don't, eh? <laughs> Let's try it again. I can get this right. It's like Russian meets French. Maybe I need a lesson. How to talk like a Canadian. Zach Attack says, Were you just shooting the Star Wars simulator? <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. I can't. You, when you come out here in July, you're going to have to definitely give me some Canadian accent tips. Please. I'll practice. Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. About a boot. I got that one down. Hockey. Hockey. Quebec. Quebecois. Yeah? Yeah, you have to like choke on the last claw. Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Eh? <laughs> Stephanie DTV says, Gummy bears on ice cream is the best. I agree. She also says, How do you keep the audio regular when you speed up the videos? It's something that's uh, in Sony Vegas, so I couldn't tell you unless you had the same software as I did. Nerdy Ninetales says, pertaining to my WonderCon video, So sick and jealous. Awesome video, man. Great quality, too. Wish I was there. Don't worry, dude. I saw many people that looked just like you there, so <laughs> you were there in spirit. 